Hello, hello. Happy Monday, everybody. And here we are again, Monday. We are starting fresh with new energy, new excitement, new things. Uh, let me check if we are actually live. I don't see the... I don't see the show actually being connected on LinkedIn. Okay, there it is. There it is. Okay, great. It's live with new we energy, live. new excitement, new thing. Now we have echo. <laughs> so, uh, happy Monday, everybody. Today we have an amazing show, and it's about the power of vision. And, you know, the Bible says when you don't have a vision, you people perish. And, you know, we must have a vision to, you know, to plan our future, to do whatever we need to do, you know. Um, even in personal life. So today I have my friend and um, mentor, Mindy, Mindy Leishman here. Hi, Mindy. Thank you for being here. And um, yes, the power of vision. It's very important to have a mission, to have a, a vision. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you, Gracie, so much for having me on the show today. And um, I'll just do a quick introduction of who I am. My name is Mindy Lishman. I am a dream builder coach and a life mastery consultant with the Brave Thinking Institute. And that is uh, the Brave Thinking Institute is one of the premier institutes for teaching coaches how to help people create their dream lives, which that's why we need a vision so that we can create our dream life, right? Right. It's like having a map. Let's say you want to, I live in California. Let's say I want to go to New York and I'm taking my bike. I'm not taking a plane, a car, a bus. I'm taking my bike. So I need a vision. I need a map that will mm -hmm. tell me how to get from point A to point B. The same with uh, what you're doing, the vision, vision uh, for California. vision workshop. <laughs> So yeah, so real quick, I'll just share what I have going on this weekend, which is a free vision workshop. It's a two hour workshop and it goes beyond, it goes beyond your regular vision board. You know, a, a regular vision board, you get in a room with a bunch of friends or maybe you just have a glass of wine and you're, you know, it's New Year's Eve and you're pasting and cutting, right? Well, right. in this vision workshop, what we do is we really look at the mindset that helps you manifest your dream life. And so we, we take it. In fact, we're not even going to do the vision boards while we're on the workshop. We're actually just going to go into the mindset of vision boards. That includes, um, like I said, the energy behind what you're trying to manifest, how to not overwhelm yourself. I've seen vision boards where it's like, I don't even know how you can, you know, discern one picture from another because they're all running together. Um, we're also going to look at why haven't you manifested these things so far? Like what has been holding you back? And I'll share a real quick story. So I was in a business where for years I had these visions on my vision board and it just seemed like every January I would put a new vision of the same vision board together. Mm -hmm. And it was at the point where it was frustrating me. It was literally like it was painful to look at because like, well, it didn't happen last year. It's not going to happen this year. So in my mind, I was already creating what I didn't want. Right. right. So I would walk past and get frustrated. But imagine having a vision board that you walk past and you're in vibration with that. In other words, your energetic level is at the same level as those pictures on that board. Yeah. That doesn't mean you lower your standards for what you put on the board. It right. means you raise your vibration to meet that which you're trying to manifest. Yes, and I like that you mentioned uh, we worked on the energy, not the because I have been to several uh, vision board workshops where we just cut out, you know, pictures, pretty pictures from magazines, and we just paste them, and we're like, okay, that looks beautiful, and I want this, 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 and that, but there's no connection. There's just the pretty pictures on the wall or on a board, you know, the cardboard. Uh, and then we wonder, okay, why I didn't get ABC or the X, Y, and C, or I've been putting this for so long. And, and it's the energy. I'm glad you mentioned that. And, um, and yeah, I like to know why some things take longer to manifest or to come to. <laughs> 
<laughs> Why you go, honey? <laughs> it's the universe calling. Yeah, the universe calling. <laughs> telling you to attend Mindy's Vision Workshop on Saturday the 27th, right? Yeah. <laughs> Why you saying some things that we post on the vision board doesn't don't show up? Because we're not in that energy. So, for instance, I remember sitting with some friends of mine. We used to do a mastermind um, every Friday, and my friends were Irish. And later, I, I came to realize we weren't really having a mastermind. We were getting together with my Irish friends and talking about this stuff, but not really. I wasn't soaking it in. So emotionally, I wasn't ready for it, right? right. Emotionally, I was just coming off of four and a half years of depression. And oh. so even though I was pasting all of these things where I'd lost my parents, I lost so many other things, you know, brother and just other things during this time. And I was dealing with a lot. And so just coming out of that, yeah, it was fun to get with my friends every Friday and read, think and grow rich and do positive things. But I wasn't emotionally in the game. And so what, what happens is oftentimes we'll put things on the vision board that we don't believe that we can create. Right. So that's what we're looking at when we do this program is what do I truly believe? And we want to aim high. How do I build the belief? I shouldn't say, what do I truly believe? How do I build the belief to aim high? Right. To for instance, that thing. Yes. yes. For instance, let's say I, I put a picture of me flying uh, a plane, mm -hmm. a luxury plane. And I post it on the vision board. But I don't if I don't believe it, it's not gonna manifest. Exactly. Something that I, like from the heart. Yeah, I really want to man, you know, I really want to experience this. And I don't know, but there, there's a yes, I want this and my energy or my enthusiasm goes towards this, mm -hmm. right? Well, and that's where the mindset work comes in because, you know, you have to really look and, and I asked some very specific questions in my vision board workshop. I've done several of these. In fact, I have um, one of my clients who she attended my free workshop and that was in July and she just manifested the house that oh. she had on her vision board and she's moving in less than 30 days now. And this was in July, and now it's July. Wow, yeah. that was fast. So the energy was there. She she connected with that energy. Exactly, because what we what we do is we really get down and dirty. Like, what emotions do you do you you know have that might be holding you back? What feelings? We we discover thought. What are, are our thoughts around the things that we're trying to manifest, or how we're trying to manifest those? then what are those feelings that come from the thoughts that we're having, right? right? And if there's a disconnect, then we get to change our thought around the feeling so that the feeling raises to a feeling of excitement and anticipation. Like you can't, like for so many years, I'd look at my vision board and I would see the, the things or the experiences on the vision board and just think, yeah, right. You know, it hasn't happened yet. There again, you know, and it was the same version of the same vision board year after year after year. So have so, the anticipation, put it there, connect with it energetically and have the anticipation that it's coming. Sort of like when you placed an order on Amazon, you have the anticipation mm -hmm. that it's coming in, in three to five days. It's coming. Yes. <laughs> yeah. And learning how to be a good receiver. You know, so many times that that thing or that experience is trying to come to us in a different way. And we always say that or something better. Right. right. So I can't tell you how many times I've waited and waited and waited for a thing in here. I like to I like to compare it to the pizza man. I order a pizza and I ordered it order a let's say a Mediterranean pizza. Right. So I've got right. this Mediterranean pizza coming. I told the, you know, the pizza person exactly what I wanted on that pizza, right? right. But they come to the door, knock, 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 and I don't answer. I can hear them knocking. I know my pizza's at the door, but I don't accept it, right? Knock, right. knock, knock, your pizza's here. I don't answer. You know, what am I telling the universe? So if you 
cancer, they're not going to deliver. They're, no, exactly, right? And so that's what happens so many times. That thing is trying to come to you in a different way than what maybe you had imagined it. So we're opening up our aware of, yeah, we're opening our awareness to be able to see that, oh, it might try and come through this direction or it might try and come through this direction. We're learning to listen to that nudge. It says, go left, not right. Go to this meeting or go to that store or go have a cup of coffee. Because you might meet the person. Yeah, you might meet the person who hooks you up with that dream, having a cup of coffee. Right. Yeah, and it's really learning to get in alignment there again with the things that you put on your vision board and know that it's a growing, moving thing. It's not a stagnant thing. You know, the vision board, you might love everything on it, but once you meet one of those goals, the other goals can change and you'll be like, well, you know what? I want to upgrade that house. I want a house with a pool and I want a house with an ocean view or, you know, on the side of a ski slope. So it's learning that this is a moving, growing um, object and it's, it's going to grow. It's going to expand as your energy and as your growth expands. Right. Right. I love it that it's not just one thing that one, oh, I ordered a house, but, you know, it could be a two bedroom house, but I want an eight bedroom house or I want to, mm -hmm. you know, a huge yard or, you know, it, it changes. Exactly. Because we change and grow, but yet we, you know, oftentimes what we also do is we'll put a stranglehold on the thing that we want. Like it has to get to us by this date and by this time, or, you know, the universe is telling me I'm not supposed to have it. No, that's not. But we don't, we don't, I'm sorry for interrupting. So we don't say, I want this you know, the house or whatever it is by, I don't know, let's say by the end of September. So we don't have to put a date. So just put the energy and the expectation that it's coming and it will be here in due time. Yes, exactly. And and learning to be in the child childlike excitement of that thing coming. You know, as if it's your birthday and you know that you're going to get the most amazing presents on your birthday, like you're in so much expectation of those presents coming, like being in the wonder and the excitement of all of all of it, rather than the frustration and the how we make each other or make each other make ourselves wrong because we haven't, you know, made the phone calls or, you know, manifested it yet. So, yeah, learning to get rid of the frustration, the fear, the anxiety, um, and really looking at what, what are the experiences that I want to have? How does that house make me feel? How does driving that vehicle make me feel? How does getting that promotion, like what am I going to experience when I get that promotion? Am I going to feel proud? Am I going to be excited? Am I going to get to really share the gifts that I have in this particular position. Yes. How is it going to make others feel? Feel confident and share that confidence with others. Yes, exactly. And when we can get in touch with those emotions and get in touch with those emotions on the daily. So there again, we don't do a vision board. And then, you know, like my old vision boards used to um, either hang on the wall in my office or I had a place in my bedroom where I would put them. And they would just become part of the background. Yeah. I wouldn't really see them. You know, these vision boards, we're learning to look at these and really like look at them on the daily every day. You know, be, when you wake up in the morning, when you go to bed at night and really just even if it's five minutes, get in the feeling of being in that house, you know, being in that relationship, getting that promotion, creating that career, whatever it is for you and learning to, be with that dream every single day so that it doesn't just become another piece of furniture that fades into the background. It's like um, when you see the vision board that you have already on your wall, mm -hmm. it's like transferring yourself into that movie. That you're already mm -hmm. in that, you're already feeling it, living it, and being there with you know friends and family, just having a good time, enjoying that. Exactly. That's exactly it. Learning to pull that vision towards you 
And so I have a really fun story. And I might have told this last time when I was on your on your live, but um, I had a vision board and my daughters were going into high school at this time. They were just getting ready for their first year of high school. And I had had a vision for probably three years on my vision board. And I it had a big, I'm a camper, I'm an outdoorsy girl. I'm sitting in the tropics. That's why today it's really hot. So, <laughs> but, you know, so for, you know, three years, probably I had this big fifth wheel camper and I was waiting for my Prince Charming to come and just take us across the country and go camping with us. Right. Right. But something even better happened and it ended up just being me and my girls and it got down to the wire. Like it was just, you know, a month before they were getting ready to, to go on or to go into high school. And it's like, I know it has to be now or never. They're going to get busy with jobs or going to get busy with boyfriends. You know, this is my year to take this cross country camping trip with my girls. So um, we found a camper. It was just a pop up because I don't like to tow things. And I had a little truck. So we got this little camper. We um, got it on Thursday. On Friday, I had a hitch put on my little my little truck that I had. And on Saturday, we took off. No agenda, no plans. And drove across the United States from Florida, up the Pacific Coast Highway, had the most amazing experiences. We, um, we even got into the Grand Canyon, even though when I got to the Grand Canyon, um, the, you know, the um, rep reservation center, they're like, this never happens, but somebody just canceled and you can have two nights. Oh, <laughs> no. so, this or something better. And you guys are something better. Yes. And so, you know, that, that oftentimes people have to, you know, reserve an, a year in advance to get into the Grand Canyon. Oh, a year in advance. Yeah. And so that's what I'm saying. Like, and the trip was so much better. You know, I didn't have to share those experiences with anybody else. It was just me and my girls. And I'm being time with your daughters. Yeah, they're 23 now. And they they still talk about that trip. Oh, you know? Beautiful memories. Yes, exactly. Right. And so that's what I'm saying. Like, be prepared for this or something better. Because oftentimes our mind has us pigeonholed in this little according to our circumstances that we currently know, right? right? But what we don't want to do is look at our circumstances. We don't want to look at our bank account or our credit score and say, oh, I can never own a house. My credit score is this, or my bank account is this. No, that's just a snapshot of your life today. That has nothing to do with what your life might look like three to six months from now. And, and you know, a lot of people disqualify themselves before they even try. Exactly. It, well, you know, and we talk about this in the coaching pro program. So Gracie is in the coaching program, the Dream Builder program, and having amazing, amazing breakthroughs. Yeah. Right. Um, but we talk about the fact that, you know, when we're young, up to about the age of six or seven, you know, we're just dreaming like crazy, everything. And there really is, um, our brain is not developed, our thinking brain isn't really as developed as our as our, you know, everything's open, right? Until about the age of six or seven. So as a five, six year old, we're running around and one minute we're playing house and then we're shooting off to the moon. And, you know, maybe 10, 15 minutes later, you know, we're playing horsey or something, you know, it's all, it all life is just pretend. Everything is pretend and we're dream, dream, dream. And we're firefighters and we're, you know, we're astronauts for whatever it might be. But then when we get in school, you have to sit at this desk and you have to sit here for how many hours a day, right? And you have to listen and you have to pay attention. Stop daydreaming. You're daydreaming again. You're daydreaming. And some of us really daydreamed a lot. I was that child that was getting yelled at a lot. And, but, you know, and then as we get older and older, we lose that ability to really dream big. Yes, with responsibilities, with uh, let's say grade school, you have homework to do, you have assignments to complete and tests to, to to be done, and so you forget about your childhood. You you just set to um, responsibilities. 
Mm -hmm. And then you go out into the world and now you have a job and, you know, you have a family and you have a house payment and a car payment. And, you know, <laughs> like we do, we forget how to really dream right. as we get older. And the older we get, the less we allow ourselves to dream because we've had so many disappointments behind us. Right. Oh, I don't want to go do, I don't want to go this way because last time I experienced mm -hmm. Something, something bad, and then this other way. Well, I don't like the X, Y, and C, and so there's always something. So we're disqualifying ourselves. Exactly, like me with my vision board that I had some of these these you know things that I wanted to manifest. I had them on my vision board for so many years, and they were just frustrating me because there again, I didn't truly believe. I wasn't really just because I was pasting the pictures on onto a piece of cardboard didn't mean that I was really dreaming about it. I was really thinking about how, how can I make that happen? How, 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 how? And when we're in the how, we can't make anything happen. We have to let go of how is this going to happen? Yeah. And be open to when it's ready for us, when we're ready for it, it will happen. It has to happen. Yeah, we should never worry about the how. It, it's no. how, it's like the the um, you know you order something on Amazon. You're not gonna worry. Are they coming by mail? Are they coming mm -hmm. by train? By car? By bicycle? You just know it's coming, and mm -hmm. the the yeah. from there to here is not your problem. Exactly. You don't care how they get there. You just know they're going to get there, right? Right. Yeah. So there's another funny story. So I'm in Costa Rica and we don't have addresses here. But yet oh. if I ordered something on Amazon, they still manage to get it to my front door. Yeah, I don't know how. Like I said, we don't have it. We don't have street addresses. <laughs> so, I live in the pretty house up in the hill or, or, or how do you do it? like that? Yeah. <laughs> so, so, there's Amazon delivery there. Yeah, there is. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Yeah. I, mean, I, I would be a, <laughs> I'm gonna give a pretty house and they're all pretty. <laughs> well, and that's, you know, this house that I currently live in. You know, I had on my vision board a yoga deck in Costa Rica, me doing yoga on this deck. I mean, that was the feeling that I had behind it, right? I had it on my vision board for exactly a year. Mm -hmm. And at the end of that year, I was in Costa Rica, my Airbnb host, I asked her where I could go do yoga, yoga, and she sent me to a yoga re or a retreat center that was nearby. And I was doing yoga on that deck that was on my vision board. Oh. Yeah, now, how I ended up on that deck, I don't know, because I literally just put my finger on the map and said, well, this looks like a good place to go. <laughs> and then I found an Airbnb. Yeah, then I found an Airbnb, you know, after I said, okay, I kind of want in this general region, it's in the mountains, and I want to be in the mountains. Well, and wouldn't you know that yoga retreat is at the end of my driveway. I can oh. walk to yoga. <laughs> so, yeah. How is that? This or something better. I didn't come to Costa Rica with any plans on buying a house. That's another amazing story. Mm -hmm. And the house was literally delivered to my lap. And in fact, I kept, I was telling the, the owner, I'm like, no, 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 we didn't come here to buy a house. I'm on a vacation, right? <laughs> Are you on a vacation home now? I well now it's almost it's more my full time home. Oh, okay. Yeah, and I still have my home in Florida, but um, it's hot in Florida in August, and you know I really don't want. It's hot. It's warm here. It's not like Florida hot. It's warm here, but it's not hot and muggy. You know, it's just um, actually it might be eighty. You know, Florida's probably ninety five or a hundred today. So That's nice, and you have beautiful landscapes. Beautiful sun, beautiful sundowns. It's just a, an amazing place to visit. Now I can't imagine living there every day. It's like, oh, another beautiful day in paradise. Yeah, beautiful lake views, views of the volcano. Um, 
Yeah, just an amazing place to live, and I'm I'm loving every minute of it. But see, I didn't get attached. That's the other thing with our vision boards. We get so attached to the outcome. We get so attached to the time frames. And I didn't get attached to the outcome. It's just like I knew I wanted to travel. That was my that was really my goal to be this digital nomad and travel for three to six months at a time. And so my next place was going to be Europe. But look oh. at the yeah, and look at the heat wave Europe is experiencing and has been experiencing all summer. Yeah. My bigger goal was not to be in Florida during June, July, and August. <laughs> so you know. Like I, but I used something that I knew that I didn't want to create what I did want, which was to be in a climate that had a nice breeze and where I could be close to the water and I could go kayaking and hiking and, and do all the outdoor things that I love to do. So this or something better. Now that doesn't mean I'm not going to Europe this year. In fact, I might still go for the Christmas markets in Germany. Oh, that sounds well, I'm awesome. just not going. Yeah, I know. I'm just not going to be there during this heat wave, mm -hmm. which I couldn't have predicted when I set my plan to travel for the year. Right. Mm -hmm. So taking the stranglehold off of what everything has to look like, you know, um, I work with clients here and they're like, well, I have to be in this neighborhood and it has to be that house right there. And then they keep a hold of that so tight that they really they over obsess. Yeah. And it's like a garden hose. So our life, our abundance, the abundance that infinite has in store for us is like, it's not even like a garden hose. It's like that hose that the fire trucks come out with that just, you know, it's, it's just, yeah. Like the flow is just so abundant. But when we have that stranglehold on it, it's like we have this kink in the hose. Yeah, and nothing flows. Yeah, and that's what why some things on our vision boards may take years to come about. You know, I had this stranglehold on what that trip across the, the cross country camping trip was supposed to look like, and I had a kink in my hose. When I let loose and said, you know what, my daughters are going into high school in exactly one month, and I want this time with them because I want it to be special. And when I let go of the rest of it, when I said, I don't care if I'm sleeping in a tent, although that wasn't really like my goal at that point, but you know, <laughs> I was, I was a little older and wasn't really hip on the idea of sleeping in a tent for a month. But um, even though I love tent camping for a, a while. while. Yeah, exactly. I'm a day or two tent camper these days. Right. Mm -hmm. but, um, but yeah, I had such a tight hold. And when I let go of it, that hose unkinked and the universe delivered. Beautiful, beautiful. And you know what? Um, we always set the um, the vision board for a vacation, family time, or a relationship, or for a new car, new, new house, whatever it is. But it should also be for business. Like, I want this, I want to attract this type of clients. I want to exactly. deliver my best x y and c that i'm good at to you know to the people that are you know that are in alignment with me and um vision boards should be part of a business plan yes <laughs> i love that i've never heard anyone say that before but you're absolutely right it should be part of your vision vision or your business plan and when you're thinking in terms of something that's hard to find a picture for then what you want to do in that instance, you know, like I want to attract these kind of clients. What you want to do is you want to find a picture that might encompass that experience. Mm -hmm. So what does that look like? Does that look like you're standing on a stage or doing a TED Talks or does it does it look like you? For me, as a life coach, what it looked like is me sitting on that yoga deck with you know, men and women sitting around doing their journaling, um, you know, doing retreats and that type of thing. It also looked like a picture of my coaching clients on Zoom. So just, you know, the, the screen filled with Zoom clients who I was doing group coaching. And that vision came true. Yeah. So, you know, looking at what represents this somewhat hard picture to to maybe encompass right 
Right. And then make sure that you're, you know, there again, you have the energy when you're looking at that picture. And we're in such a great time too with Google. You know, a few years ago when I first started doing my vision boards, you couldn't Google the pictures, right? You literally had to find them in magazines and it literally felt like a kindergarten thing and we're all sitting cutting and pasting. We don't have all those magazines here. And then when you have them, they don't have what you're looking for. Exactly. But now we can Google the pictures. We can either print them out or I'm a big fan of digital vision boards. Yeah. So I have them on my phone, on my iPad, on my Mac. So that every time I turn on my computer or my phone, I can literally look at these. There's also a way that you can make a slideshow where it's going through and you could put music to the side slide uh, slideshow. And so like my daughters gave me um, one of the, the photo frames mm. with the pictures that, that scroll through. Right. And I can put music to the photo frame. And I can have that scrolling through. And so at night, I could be sitting there with a cup of tea, just watching that slideshow before I go to bed. Yeah, and it goes into your subconscious and you're already dreaming and feeling that experience. Exactly. And then finding music is another good tip for anybody who's vision, vision boarding or visioning. At this point, we're visioning, right? Fun. And you're visioning while you have music that brings in that feeling like it's accomplished. And that could be, a, you know, a song that picks you up. It could be a song that makes you want to dance or it could be something very calming. It just depends on your personality. So, yeah, you can have so much fun with this. And then learning how to do affirmations that support your vision. But That's so I also have to come from the heart because I could read them, you know, like, like a grocery list and, and they're not going to make any <laughs> Exactly. So I used to um, I used to do some coaching and we were told to write out our affirmations a hundred times every morning. Right. And then write them out with the left hand and this, that, this, that and the other thing. But, you know, I did that. I did that for six months and I can never get that time in my life back because I didn't believe it. No amount of writing it out helped me to believe that I was going to accomplish these things. It wasn't until I changed the affirmations. I don't even have to write my affirmations out anymore. I just know, right? And so when I say them to myself, I get so excited. Like I am, you know, I am driving this car or I am experiencing Europe when it's not in a heat wave, but I would never use not, but I am experiencing the Christmas markets or whatever that might be. Yeah. I'm experiencing the beautiful weather in Costa Rica. <laughs> yes, exactly. And and that's all I held on to. I held on to the vision of what Costa Rica was going to look like for me. And it was going to look, I mean, like I couldn't have scripted it. I couldn't have had the vision board. There's no way I could have even imagined the experiences that I had when we got to Costa Rica and the way that things just fell into place, right? Like the coffee tour that I went on that was literally a private coffee tour where I picked a half a basket of coffee beans and then we got the tour from literally beginning to end like roasted roasted coffee stirred the coffee and had it bagged in front of us that must be uh, like deliciously aroma oh unbelievable like, oh yeah we, you know we couldn't have scripted these families that literally adopted us as their own and now we're like they're like our brothers and sisters and cousins right beautiful yeah, it, it really is this or something better because you you don't know, like because you are breathing, period, because you are here, because you're alive, because you're breathing, you are worthy of everything you've ever dreamed of. And, and that's the thing that I learned in your coaching is to feel that you are worthy, to believe that you are worthy of mm -hmm. abundance, of um, beautiful things to come in, into your life. Experience. Yes. I mean, we are all here for a reason and it's not to watch Netflix every night. No. <laughs> or the real, real housewives of Beverly Hills or, you know, whatever those shows are. We're not here. <laughs> yeah. We're not here to get caught up in the drama. The drama is actually what keeps us from achieving our goals. Right. right. You know, the drama of the, the television is a distraction, but everything else that's going on in the world, it's just a distraction. 
when you can just get it to be white noise in the background, you can manifest like that. Like literally, like you were, you were with me or we were on a coaching call the day that I just had one thing after another. Just every time I turned around, I'm on the phone with my partner who's, you know, I'm down in Costa Rica. I spend most of my time down here by myself. And, um, and so I'm on the phone with him. He's back in the U S and we're talking about, um, I was asking about a hummingbird feeder that I have there that I love that I want to bring to Costa Rica. And literally a hummingbird landed right in front of me. Um, <laughs> like how, often did it, like it landed, it was there, you know, right in front of me. Usually they're flittering around. Right. And so it, but that day it was like everything I asked for, it was instantly delivered instantly delivered i was in vibration of everything i was asking for yes yes that's beautiful um the other day my mother and i were sitting here in the front porch and a hummingbird uh like you said you know they're always flying they never stop it stopped and i was just in awe oh the hummingbird so beautiful and it's not the first time it does it so it's like like you call it and it shows up and um, and I didn't know this. It was one of the, the ladies who's in the coaching program, in the Dream Builder program. Um, remember, she said a hummingbird is actually a sign of manifestation. Yes. So whenever I see it, I'm like, yay! <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? Exactly. So, yeah, there's, there's so much more to a vision board than cutting and pasting, you know, and really looking at you know, do I really want these things? Really looking at those things that you, I don't believe in doing a vision board super long-term. I mean, yes, you can, but my, my thing is let's get into some of those juicy goals that you're setting right away so that you can start to build the confidence of manifestation, you know, so you can start to learn how to walk like a toddler, right? I mean, this uh, workshop is, to set to set the vision for short term, let's say for the last three months of 2022. Well, <coughs> excuse me. Actually, what it would be is so we wouldn't want more than maybe five or six things on our vision board. Oh, okay. It's too much. It's too overwhelming, right? Right. So we would want to set um, maybe a, a three to six month month goal, a year goal, okay, a three year goal and maybe a five-year goal, oh, you know, okay. and so, you know, and then some people may want to do a 10 or a 20 year goal, but you know, myself, I'm 57. It's really hard for me to think 10 years out. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, but what I, I do know what I, one thing I definitely want when I'm 67 is to be healthy. Oh, you know, yeah. I've known, you know, I have a friend who hiked the um, Grand Canyon at 83 or 84, I forget how old he was, you know, that's, that's the 83 or 84 year old I want to be. So I do know that manifesting health and, you know, and maybe that is a longer term goal where you, you see yourself. I mean, I, I have them on my vision board. I have, you know, 60, 70 year old people, 80 year old women with six pack abs Oh, guns for arms. And it's like, yeah, that motivates me to take care of myself right now at 57. Right. So, you know, your longer term goals could be those things like, because it's going to bring it to memory that I don't want to be 87 years old and in a nursing home. I want to be 87 years old and hiking the Grand Canyon. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That's the vision now. And that's, yeah. a, I mean, we always, going to have ourselves. So might as well enjoy good health. Exactly. Exactly. So like I said, you know, depending on your age, maybe you do want to set a, a 10 year goal, but my, my main goal for 10 years from now is to be surrounded by people that I love mm -hmm. and to be in the best shape of my life. Yeah. And the other goals I'm going to create along the way, like I said, there again, six months or three to six months, one year, three years. Maybe oh. even five years at the furthest out. Great. And so when is this workshop? Please share with us. It's this Saturday. And um, and I'll, I'll share the link with you so you can put that on your LinkedIn page if you don't mind. But yeah, it's this Saturday, 12 o'clock noon Eastern time. So that would be 10 a.m. Mountain time and 9 a.m. Pacific. 
yeah um, yeah it's gonna be amazing i'm looking forward to attending and thank you on my on my vision board and, and uh, i can't wait to to share with you yeah this came true this came this came this came and i'm living the best experience you know and i like what you said this or something better and the something better always shows up yes and the only question we're going to ask ourselves is what would i love you know if you would love an ocean view house and you have no idea how that's going to happen that's awesome put that on your vision board right, but don't think like yeah i want an ocean house but then if hurricanes show up or you know there's you know don't don't think of that just i want an ocean house with a beautiful you know beautiful home in the ocean from exactly exactly and if you have those thoughts in the back of your mind we're going to weed those out you know that's because if you're having those thoughts then it may be something that yeah you think you want it but really you know you'd rather have something a little further back where you can just get to the ocean easily so for instance here in costa rica i didn't even know that i wanted a home in costa rica but in Costa Rica, I love that I'm in the mountains, mainly because I've lived at the beach in Florida for 25 years. Okay. And there again, you know, I've done the surfing, I've had fun, I've done, you know, I raised my daughters at the beach. I, I enjoyed that time and I'm so grateful for that time that I had. That's the other thing is gratitude. Gratitude on the daily, on the hour is so important. But um, I really didn't want a beachfront home here in Costa Rica. You know, we are in the tropics, it is very hot, and it really wasn't something that was calling to me. You know, so like we really get, did I wanna to go to the beach? Yeah, I'm an hour from the beach. That's perfect. I can be from this beautiful climate to the beach in an hour and surfing on some of the best beaches in the world. Mm -hmm. So this or something better. Costa Rica is beautiful from any part of the, any part of the country, yes. it's beautiful. So it's, it's like uh, something, this or something way better in Costa Rica. Yes. <laughs> and there's so many beautiful places in the world. And that's just it. You know, there's so many. And just know that, you know, if you can dream it, Bob Proctor always said, if you can hold it in your head, you can hold it in your hands. If you can dream it, you can have it. And, you know, we really want to get into what is the feeling? What is the feeling I'm having? What is the feeling I'm having? What is the feeling? Like if you're manifesting a relationship, you don't want a relationship where you're um, worried about the partner doing something or you think that you're not going to be good enough for the partner. You want, you want a relationship where you feel uplifted, excited. You don't want that constrictive, you know, trying to control or them trying to control you. No, you want to, you want a loving relationship that brings you joy, that brings you fun, where you have amazing conversations, where, you know, you support each other in your own endeavors, you know, like, or maybe you work together in a business, you know, whatever it is, whatever it is for you. So we really get into the meat and potatoes of what does this look like? So, yeah. Yes. So I'm, I'm excited. I mean, I'm excited about this. Um, workshop. I'm going to put the link, or if you have the link, you know, come and put it. If anybody has questions, you can contact Mindy or myself, and we'll be happy to answer any questions you may have. And uh, I'm looking forward to attending this workshop and, and manifesting new and amazing things. And invite yeah. friends. It really is that good. You want to invite your friends, and um, yeah, it's going to be amazing. Yes, yes, I'm going to my friends so um okay so um uh, yeah put the link here when you have a chance so i i want more people to to know about it and join us and uh, experience this absolutely thank you yes thank you thank you so much mindy and um so i'm i'm excited that you're here and thank you for sharing all your knowledge in this or something better with us Exactly. So thank you so much for having me. And again, that's this coming Saturday, the 27th at 12 noon Eastern time. So I will see you there. Have a great day.